Warning! This video contains a lot of cringe content. Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I originally wanted to do like a fucking, like just a goodbye sort of video for Xenoverse because the Spartan Zero drops extremely soon. Right, I don't have a script for this video, as you can see at the bottom of the timeline, it goes on for 22 minutes because I'm talking about fucking how I got into Xenoverse and stuff. Decided that's a story for another day, but I, I don't want this video to be that long. So instead, um, yeah, may maybe we'll leave like this bit in because it's kind of important. Um, but the rest of the video is going. Anyway, we're gonna be reacting to my old uh, Xenoverse videos. So I don't know if you heard that, but I just fired. Here is the back story. <laughs> I could expose my DMs with Burkhold because it is cringe. I sent him fucking messages and stuff. Like, hey, I'm not that good at Xenoverse, would you help me get back? <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, wow, that one was... <laughs> uh, wow. So, yeah, I used to watch a lot of Burkhole. Because, well, I mean, if you mix his thumbnails with the titles, it's kind of like... It, it draws your attention, right? And I thought that like, even though he says himself that he is very average at the game, and again, I hate the fur call, but honestly, yeah, no, he he's right. After I've seen some pro gameplay and stuff, and God, the, the shit you see in the trenches of rank, no hate the fur call at all. Love the guy, right? But yeah, no, he doesn't tell a lie. He is like above average at Xenoverse. But I thought, because he fought these trash talkers and he never lost, I thought that would, that I thought, for some reason some backwards thinking occurred and I thought that he was like one of the best players in the world because, again, he never lost. So I used to go around thinking that I was like some sort of next prodigy, prodigy or fucking Burkhard or some shit like that. <sighs> oh, oh god. The other thing that pissed me off. <laughs> All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna I'm gonna reenact my greatest strategy back back when I was in my fucking I don't even know what to call it phase. B Tech Furcol phase. That's right. Now wait, 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 stop fucking booing! I've stopped. I've changed. I've learned how to play the video game a little bit, right? You know what time it is? Reaction. Time. So here's the thing, right? I don't, like, have a face cam and shit. So, um... And I figured, I figured without, you know, a face cam, so you can see the reactions, it's not really much of a reaction video, is it? So, um, meet this goober. Um, I went on Pick Crew, or whatever the fuck it's called, and, um, quickly made them. They have three different emotions. Normal, you're seeing right now. Pop sound effect. Um, whatever that one was. I think it was shocked or something. The other one, angry. Ooh, or something like that. I don't know, man. Let's just get in with this. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> oh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2? Uh, I wonder where I got that from. Question mark. Kill yourself! Another one bar connection, this is gonna be pog. <laughs> this is gonna be so poggers. <laughs> Shut up. It would make it a lot more easier. Instead of just, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nearly just threw up in my mouth from that. Sir. Why are you breaking? Are you breaking the fucking barrier to the map? Do you want to get out? Do you want to free roam? I'm sorry, this isn't the game. That's not how you glitch out of the map. What are you doing? Stop!
<laughs> no! I think this is the most disrespectful way I've been finished. I forgot. I, I didn't even know that happened. I completely forgot. <laughs> Hey guys, Cosmic Dragons here, and look how good I am at Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2! <laughs> okay, I would have won that match a long time ago. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, I'm done. This is the easiest match I've ever seen. I've genuinely taken off my mic and I walked. I, I'm out the door right now. There is so many things wrong with the with the clip I just watched. Okay, right. Number one. Okay, you know what? I'll give myself credit. Good attempt at a stamina break combo. Not exactly it. Not exactly it. Quite far off, but it was an okay attempt. Okay, right. So, I drop this combo, right, into an ultimate, giving few and um, so much time in so many different ways to stamina break me and punish me for, again, dropping a combo for absolutely no reason. So tell me why brother decides to fucking become a fish. Where are you going? Are you going to find Nemo? Where are you going? Are you practicing for the fucking Olympic team? Oh yes boys, the Olympics are about to begin. We're gonna see the best swimmers in all the world. There's someone drowning. There is someone drowning in the fucking Olympics. Wasn't he a participant in the Paralympics? Why is he here? Okay, at the end of this clip I want you to listen to my voice. And and then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking now. I just I just want you all to hear. Okay, fair enough, I guess. I don't know if it's just me, but that was not genuine at all. And the fact that it cuts, by the way, I did not do that cut. That was genuine video cut. The fact that it cuts right on that sentence. <laughs> I feel like I was pissed. Bro, I got bodied because I was worse than the player who I was against. Take the loss on the fucking chin. Uh, music, I guess. Well, you're listening, uh, if you just go down, drop a like if you haven't already, and maybe just check if you're subscribed, because, well, you may hear a lot of YouTubers say this, and I'm not lying when I'm saying this. Yeah, 50.4% of viewers actually watching this video are not subscribed. Bro.